It recently occurred to me that there's nothing Danish on the roll menu, which is weird, because I live in Denmark. So we're gonna right this wrong by making one of my favorites. It's a pork belly sandwich made with everybody's favorite roast, Fleskestai. And it usually comes with pickles, red cabbage, mayo, or remolel. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't make it my way. So check out how I make mine. For the roast, we need a piece of pork belly with the skin on. The skin on these is usually already scored, like on this one. But if it isn't, you can do it yourself. Just don't go too deep with the knife. I also like to go for one of the lower cuts that has more fat. Because of the length of the cooking time, a lot of the fat is gonna render off and the collagen is gonna turn into gelatin. I'm using a little bit of neutral oil that's gonna do two things. Prevent the cover from sticking and allow for the salt to adhere at the same time. Use a good amount of salt, it's a big piece of meat and you want that salt to season it, so give it a good massage. Now when it comes to cooking this stuff, different people swear by different methods. Some brine the skin, others take it off altogether and cook it separately. Me, I'll keep it simple Jack. A couple of bay leaves and a small handful of black peppercorns is gonna be all the seasoning apart from the salt. I like to cook my fleskistai low and slow, so into the oven it goes, covered for 3 hours at 175 celsius or 350 fahrenheit, so that the meat gets tender and the skin gets real nice and sticky. And don't you worry, we'll crisp it up next. I'm just pouring a little bit of water in the pan so that stuff doesn't burn, and then I'm throwing it back in the oven which is the broiler on, which is gonna make it pop like fireworks. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, admittedly some of those bubbles picked up a little bit too much color. But let me tell you this, there was nothing wrong with that piece of meat, boy. This skin is what it's all about. And then that meat candy is all tender and succulent underneath. You know, I can keep telling you all about it, or you can just see for yourself. Now once you do what you have to do, I like to pack it away and make the sandwiches the next day. Can you make a sandwich with it when it's hot out of the oven? Sure you can, but you're probably gonna have leftovers anyway. And an added bonus is that the cold meat is much easier to slice. So you take that pork belly and you cut yourself some nice thick slices. So you take that fleskistai and you throw it either on the pan or under the broiler. Meanwhile, we can take care of the sauce. I'm going for mayo because the remolel is a little bit too sweet for me. I'm gonna cut the mayo with some sour cream and I'm gonna shred some fresh horseradish in there. Now we still have the mayo base, but we're also playing with the tanginess from the sour cream and the sharpness of the horseradish. We have a rich fatty piece of meat, so we're trying to cut through that and lift it up a little bit. All we're gonna do to that is hit it with some salt and some fresh cracked black peps. This sauce is something I came up with, but I think it works here real nice. I'm putting all of this on a brioche, it's not traditional, but if you can get a brioche, why wouldn't you? The sauce goes on the bun, and it would traditionally be followed up with some pickled red cabbage. But I'm gonna go for some pickled beets instead, for the same reason that I didn't go for the remolel. It's just too sweet. Okay, by now that pork belly should be ready to be turned into a sandwich, and I'm ready to turn that fat into my fat. You hear that? That's what happiness sounds like. That crispy skin is really the star of the show. But you also have that succulent tender meat underneath, which is also balanced by that horseradish and sour cream mayo. And of course you have those pickled beets, cause as we should all know, if there's no pickles in the sandwich, you can throw it on the floor and walk away. Roll out.